you doing? How are you? Hope you're very well. Uh, welcome to day 36 of Lindor's Luscious Lemmerings. Uh, for me, a day back, a first day back after a couple of days off, so it might be for you as well. If so, I hope you are rested. 36, start of a new week of exciting lockdown loveliness. So let's get our quarantine selves ready for some action. Uh, today, first day of the weekly series is going to be about um, joint mobility, moving around, just getting yourself back in touch with your body again. So let's do that. Oh, by the way, I can just hear my neighbor's music in the background. I don't know if you can or not. But please, YouTube, I'm not trying to rip off someone's music without paying them copyright. Please don't take my video down. It's my neighbours. We're in lockdown. We can't do anything about it. We, however, have the Spotify playlist ready, which you may or may not be syncing with at home. With that in mind, today's playlist. Three, two, one, go. All right, feet just hip width apart. It's going to start by just bending. Super easy. And keep going. Easy. <laughs> You're like, you don't trust me after last week. Last week, do you? <laughs> Good. And just bringing in a little bit of shrugging. And just circling one arm with the shoulder. So really what I mean is circling one shoulder. <laughs> and taking it forwards. And the other shoulder. Just keep it then going with me, nice and easy. And changing direction. And two elbows. Well, that mixed it up, didn't it, hey? Keeping you on your toes, single arm backstroke. And by the way, I support anyone's style of backstroke that they did as kids or now. You're all great. Forwards. And the other arm, backwards first. Still keeping the knee bend going, nice and easy, nothing too extreme. No extreme lockdown. And forwards. Okay, both arms backwards. See, I told you it'd be easy. Going forwards. And just driving through. If you're feeling warm, you can do a slightly deeper bend with the knees, but otherwise keeping it light. All right, two and then a full circle. One, two, circle. And the other way, one, two, circle, and keep going, two, circle, one, two, circle, good, just coming into rolling wrist, and just going to rock from side to side with the feet, just see how far you can go before it becomes unreasonable, and change direction of the wrist. Good. And then we're going to go up on the toes and down. You can put the heels down on the floor for this one. Breathing in and up. So I I feel like I've gone back to my gymnastic days. Do gymnastics. Present and down. Present and down. To the judges this side. Present. Yeah, I'm just messing there. <laughs> Good. And up. Hold it. Oh, I snuck that one up, didn't I, hey? Stay there. Take the arms out to the side. Staying up on the toes. And very slowly lower down over five, four, three, two, 
one, the circle through, going up again onto the toes, and hold it. Fix a spot to look at if you're going off balance. Take the arm to the side, stay up. Now, if you're feeling good here, take your gaze around the room using your head, using your eyes. Good, back to centre, lowering down for four, three, two, one. Just walking through the feet, letting the arms just swing lightly around. Good, just start to let the arms go a little bit more of a journey. Good, take out the step. Now be careful with your knees in this one. So if you feel any pressure on the knees, just don't twist very far. My hips are actually only twisting to the wall. And really start to loosen the arms. And now stay in the centre. moment both the hips and the shoulders are twisting round and I want you to let go of the arms so it feels like they're swinging out from the centre of the spine and the only reason why they're moving is because the hips are moving. Now we're going to keep spinning but I'm going to keep the hips facing forwards so now it's just the shoulders spinning. Let's start off by taking the head with us. The knees are just slightly bent Okay, now the head's going to stay still as well, so it's just the shoulders moving. Good, alright. Alternate arms. And as I'm going, I'm just starting to encourage myself to turn. And I am shifting weight from one leg to the other, but I'm going up into the ball of the foot of the other one. And we'll step up wider and keep going. And as you warm up, you can start to go a little bit lower with that knee bend. And now I'm going to take it more of a swing and a lean up. Good and like you're trying to swing around behind you. The weight is always in the ball of the foot when you've got the balance on one leg. So you should start to feel a nice bit of a stretch, maybe your twist underneath the armpit over the, over the lap muscles. And just into a nice swing. As you're warming up, just start to let the chest dip down a little bit lower. You can start to increase that twist a little bit as well if you like. Okay, changing that into a figure of eight. Just go in your own time at the moment. Really feel like you're lengthening out both and behind the shoulder blades. The arms are getting longer and longer like pizza dough. Sadly, you're not gluten-free pizza dough because it doesn't really stretch out. And go the other way. We're just going fast enough to let the cardio, cardiac output just increase. Let the respiratory rate come up. But the movement's super light. Beautiful, all right. Just down to marching and rolling the, the wrists. And the wrists go down. Lift up tall out of 
of the hips as you do this. Rolling up again. Try and replace the leg down in the same spot as what you picked it up from. Good. Now, propeller arms. Keep the legs going, change direction. Good stuff, all right. Calming that down and breathing in. And curving over down. And again, breathing in. And down. Breathing in. And down. Couple more. All right, coming down. We're going to butcher a yoga sequence. So breathing in, two, three, four, rolling down, two, three, breathe in to look forward and lengthen, back down, rolling back up, two, three, four, down, two, and back again, same count. Breathing in. Two, three, four, breathing out. Two, three, look forward and lengthen, breathing in. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, breathing in to walk out into a high plank. Two, three, four, lowering down. Two, three, breathing in to go back up. And breathing out to go back down. But in the end, to a child's pose, breathing in. Breathing out into an upward dog. Tuck the toes under, breathing in into a downward dog. Walk the hands in, breathing out. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, going down. All right, same again, but we're gonna double the pace. So counts of two. Breathing in. Two, and out. Two, breathing in. Two, and out. Sorry, I changed music. <laughs> breathing in. Two, lowering down, breathing out. Coming back up, breathing in. Breathing out to go down. But in the air into a child's pose. Breathing out into an upward dog. Straight up into a downward dog. Walking the hands in, breathing out. Breathing in, rolling up. And down. One more time. Here we go. Breathing in. Breathing out, roll down. Breathe in and look forward and lengthen. Breathing out, come down. Breathing in to a high plank. Breathing out, go down. In to go up. Out to go down. In to a child's pose. Out to an upward dog. Into a down dog. Out to walk the hands in. One more look forward and lengthen here. And down, in to roll up. As you're alive, we're gonna do one more time. Not like me at all. Here we go. Breathing in. Breathing out to go down. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out to go down. In to high plank. Out to lower down. In to go up. Out to go down. In, child's pose. Out, upward dog. In, downward dog. And stay here. Just walking through the feet. Lifting the butt nice and high, engaging through the shoulder blades. And just 
start to put a twist to this now. If you really want to get a stretch, you can really accentuate that twist. Obviously just working within your own limits. Back into a plank and just holding here for a sec. Lengthening through the spine. And just lightly twisting from side to side, one hip down and the other. Good, put the knees down. Just roll back, just to roll out the wrists and the other way. Go back into all fours and arching up and down. Breathing in to go up. And down. And in. Two. And down. Two. In. Two. Four. I changed songs. And again. Good. Now we're going to go in. Roll back. Up. And down. Going up, back, up, and down. Two more. Back, up, the last one. Good. And just wagging the tail. Work it. Lovely, all right, tuck the toes under, just lift up into a hold. If you want to increase the workload, which I know you do, pull the hands in towards the knees. Feel that shake engage through the shoulder blades. And back down, wagging your tail. And back into cat cow, so arching. And down. Uh, Tuck the toes under, back up again, holding. Pull the fingertips in towards the knees, make yourself shake with the effort. Stay there. Knees down, back into dog tail. And back into cat cow, all the animals today. And down. All right, going up, stay here, and wiggle the butt out. Back onto your knees, just rolling out the wrists. Staying with the animal theme, donkey kicks up and down. So engage the shoulder blades, you're trying to get the thigh about parallel with the ground. Heel goes straight up like you're trying to push your button above you. Engage the shoulder blades, draw the belly button into the spine. And changing legs. Don't let the back sag. You want to pull the belly button into the spine and engage. <coughs> Engage through the uh, shoulder blades. And one, two, down, two, three more, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, and last one. Good. Back in, just a circle through the wrists. Good. Just coming onto your side. Um, we're going to do a <coughs> clamps, it's choking me up. Pull this hip down so you have a gap underneath here. And keeping the hips square to the ground, open and close. Be accurate with this movement, don't just fling it up, control it all the way. Now, if you're feeling good with this, then what we're going to do is lift both feet off the ground. Here we go. Still drawing that top hip down. Just 
So let's do our next advancement. If you're feeling good, we're going to open and close. Otherwise, stay with this. So we go up and down. Well, let's say open and close. I'm totally going to extend the leg. You know what I mean. All right, put that top leg down on the ground with the leg and pulse. I call this the Hasselhoff position. Keep pulsing, so keep the hips square to the ground. If you have a foam roller, you can put this here and line it like that. That's the same thing as well. Keep this leg up and now bend the knee and straighten, keep it controlled. This feels like sometimes you're not working anything until you put a leg weight on your leg and then you can feel it. And back to pulsing. Beautiful, changing over sides. Straight into the clams, drawing down that top hip. Drawing down so you have space here. Make sure you're square. If you're rolling the hips forward or back, you're cheating. And you're just cheating yourself. You're not cheating lockdown, no, just yourself. Okay, legs up, feet up if you need it. Keep breathing. If you want to increase the workload, also draw the belly button into the spine forwards. Okay, here we go, extensions. And popping that leg down, straight into a Hasselhoff's. Pulsing. That's not the official name. Please don't sue me, Mr. Hasselhoff. Good, all right, now bend in the back leg. Bend, kick the plant. And pulsing. Good stuff. Just come onto your back and just let the legs go wide for a sec, just wiggle them out. Keep going. So we're going to stretch the small of the back a bit. So it's these beautiful ones here. So sending the back into the floor like you're trying to burst a balloon and down again. And again. And down. If you want to increase it, straighten the legs, point the toes, otherwise stay with the legs bent. Pushing that back into the floor the whole time. One more time. Good stuff. Just rolling around onto all fours again. And we're going to go into our trice, uh, trapezius dips. We're not going to jump, it's okay. Oh, that's in case you're not listening to my music, I'm playing jump. Okay, bring the leg up. And scooping through with the pelvis, just until you find a stretch down the front of the thigh and the flexor. Good, and changing legs, same again. Pelvis forwards and back. Popping up nice and tall, this don't let the back stack into a banana. Good, changing back. And now we're just going to rock forwards and hold and back. Just until you find a light stretch. Now from here we're going to rock into the full stretch and back. Wow, they're really going nuts with the guitar. You know what, you don't need to put your hands on your hips, I don't know why I'm doing it. 
Okay, we're gonna slow it down and go rocking up and then sitting back into a stretch. And again, rocking up. Couple more. And last time. Good, changing legs and just rocking. And two. It's very inspiring hearing jump playing down my headphones. I can't tell you how much I wanna get up and start running around. You can see that, right? Yeah. All right, slow it down. Good, slowing right down. Back into a stretch. Two more. Don't want you to go into a full stretch here in either of these, but just moving through some joint mobility. Good, just put that leg back into a plank and back up, other leg. Put the knee down and with the arm going up and down. Same arm as the leg that's forwards. And we're gonna slow it down, go arm straight and through. Two more of those. Good. Put the toe underneath, put the leg back. Bring the other leg forwards. And into the bent arm version. Slowing it down, straighten the arm, up and down. Good, just bring it back into a plank, walking up, rolling up the spine. Good, getting the wide stance. I'm just going to go duck. So making sure you're beating both the core and the knee. So I'm not just doing this, and I'm not just doing this. I'm ducking and weaving, otherwise known as a Beyonce. Oh my God, all the artists are gonna sue me. Please don't sue me. All right, into some light punches. Don't care where you go, straight or across, whatever, don't care. Just keep it nice and light, keep the duck going in between. If you want to do it quick, you've got to go light. Keep the duck. All right, go in for a side elbow. Into a rising elbow with the opposite arm. Into an uppercut. Great. Back into duck. Good. Coming up. All right. Kick and down. So the knee goes first, and then the foot. Don't go for height, go for cool. Change feet. Lift up out of the hips as you do this. Good, circling 
one leg. Nice and light. Changing legs. And inwards. Changing legs. Back to a front kick. Change. I don't have much of the timing there. Good, ducking. Duck and punch. Uppercut. <laughs> You've been boxer sized. Not really, I don't own boxer sizing. Ignore that. Don't see me. <laughs> Reaching up. And just starting to work through. Reaching as high as you can. Pounding through the floor like a cat on a contented hot water bottle. Take it for the diagonals. And then take it for the walls. Good. Reaching up, rolling down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rolling up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rolling down half the time. Four, three, two, one, rolling back up. Three, two, one, and down. Back up. Good. Going wide. Language warning on the side to listen to the one I'm listening to. Pushing. Nice and wide with the legs. As long as you're comfortable with that. Whew, language warning. Reach it up and I'm rolling down. And swing. Get in the center and bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Two more. And keeping the hands in the center, we're just going to go swap, swap these arms. Staying on that. Now, if you're feeling warm with this, we're just going to take that foot to the opposite. Sorry, the hand to the opposite foot. Starting to bring your knee bend to that. Good. Just taking it down. One more set of these. Good. Now if you're feeling warm, just pop over one leg and stretch. To increase the stretch, move more into the center. And leaning forward. Deep breath in, breathing out. Use your hands to help you change sides. And just moving more into the center. Good. Coming back into the center and back again to swing. 
You need to adjust your feet so you have a bit of breadth of stance. Do that. And spinning in the center circle. Keep going. Good. Bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Reaching up with the hands out to the side. Just bending over one side and across to the other side. Good. Patience, stop the cavies there. Amazing. We went slightly longer than normal today, but you know, I felt like that was necessary. Uh, great. That was day 36, see? Not so bad, just feeling nice, limber, cool, warm, all that kind of thing. Happy it's in the dark, the passage of time. I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow for day 37. It'll either be legs or arms, I'm not sure which one. Uh, but uh, I'll make that up tomorrow. In the meantime, have a very excellent night's sleep and I will see you next time. Stay safe, lots of love. Bye.